Hi, I'm Walt Havenstein. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of SAIC. Hi, I'm Charles Beard, the Chief Information Officer here at SAIC. SAIC is a $11 billion technical services and solutions business uh, serving primarily the U.S. federal government uh, and uh, focused on solving very, very hard problems for our nation and for uh, global problems as well. Our emphasis is in national security, energy, and health information technology with a uh, broad capability of sciences and technologies uh, with special emphasis on cybersecurity. The uh, cyber capabilities we have within the company uh, have been aggregated uh, under the chief information officer who serves not only as a functional leader in providing internal capability, and that's Charles of course, uh, but also providing a uh, capability that can then be sold in our various vertical markets. So, so when you think about um, cybersecurity, it serves both as a differentiator into the marketplace, but also at, we're leveraging our, our world-class capability to support our own enterprise. And I think, you know, the expression I like to use is, you know, we eat our own dog food. And uh, so when we, when we've made several acquisitions over the last several years in cybersecurity, entrepreneurial companies, small companies, but we take those capabilities and first and foremost make sure they're applicable to what we're trying to do as a company internally. As the CIO for this company that works in multiple regulated industries, that's moving at a very rapid clip, both in the energy side, moving to smart grid, in the healthcare side, going to electronic health records and health information exchanges, um, in the critical infrastructure side, trying to deal every day with the threats. You can't um, have um, solutions that are on you know, four or five year development cycles. And working with a number of technology partners, especially in the area of cybersecurity, you're beholden to their technical roadmaps. You're beholden to their development cycles. And what we see with some of the things that we've built is an ability to have much more rapid cycle innovations that are much more consistent with the kinds of threat vectors that we see uh, you know, emerging in the various markets that are important to us and important to our uh, external clients. So that, that is what creates sort of a unique opportunity for us. It's not that we're, we're walking away from our technology partners that we're working with in the marketplace. They'll, they'll continue to be technology partners with us. But there are capabilities that we really need within those small entrepreneurial uh, companies that we've acquired, and we need that rapid cycle innovation in order to sort of deal with the threat vectors that we see unfolding. We had acquired CloudShield, which is one of these portfolio companies we were talking about a little while ago. And CloudShield had some really unique capabilities, largely deployed in the telco space and also for select government agencies, uh, but largely not deployed in Fortune 500 companies. And by taking a look at that in a different context, we saw the opportunity to do something very unique um, with our defense in depth stack. So we've taken that Cloud Shield product and we've actually brought that inside um, to SAIC um, into our internal networks. And we are now innovating on that product in a way um, that we will have um, offerings that will spin out of that that will be able to be consumed by a broader commercial market that happens to use uh, Cloud Shield technologies. So, uh, you'll see us begin to innovate on that platform in ways that, you know, heretofore would not have, you know, sort of hit, uh, risen to the level of consciousness of that small independent company sitting out in California. So that's just one example. Yeah, I, I would uh, echo what uh, Charles said. Uh, Charles is one of the largest consumers of our, our IT spend uh, in the company. He has uh, an appreciation for what's happening in the market that most of our uh, colleagues may not have. And, <laughs> and it does put an interesting challenge on Charles because Charles is running a very, very uh, large information technology business in and of itself and just serving the 41,000 internal customers. But I think that's the nature of, uh, at least for SAIC, the nature of what a chief information officer must be able to do.